Okay, Brian says, would there be an easy way to put like a hundred links into an RSS feed? Um, if you create, there's a couple like feed creators. If that's what you're talking about, Brian, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Uh, they, there are some out there that you can create feeds by adding your own links. Um, shit, I know I've got some of them here. Let's take a look. What we got? I've got so many of them here. I'd have to go through some of these to figure out which ones are which. But there are some of these where you can create. Um, feeds out of like uh, your own. You can you can sub you can like for example, if you had a uh, a back a GSA campaign and you exported a list of links that you had built or created, uh, and let's say you had 300 links, you could actually go. I, what is it? I can't remember that. I'll have to find to try to find the site, Brian. I'm not going to do it right now, but um, you can add like po paste those into a, an online service and it will create a feed URL out of those links and all the feed is is just those links on a page in other words and that's something that could be used to submit to aggregators and stuff and it's kinda of more of an older link building thing that we used to do um, not something we do These a whole lot of anymore I'm sorry what is it I'll see what we've got the post on our site the Yahoo pipes alternative so maybe that might have some yeah it might be in there Feed if Informer, a, RSS Mix, Feedity, Feed Rinse, Chimp Feeder, Feed Killer. <laughs> RSS Mix, that's probably it. Yeah, so I'll post it on the page here. Yeah, that's probably it. If you can find that, that'd be great. Um, how do you make a Twitter RSS feed? I used the Google scripts and made one, but from there I cannot put it in the IFTTT. Have you tried burning a feed burner feed from that? Because that's oftentimes, if IFTTT won't, uh, won't uh, accept a, an RSS feed, a lot of times if you just go be, burn a feed burner feed out of the feed that you were trying to submit orig originally, then you go take the, the the resulting feed burner feed and submit that. IFTTT will accept it. So I would try that. Okay. Also, there is a, there is a new service. I was actually looking at this recently. This is called QueryFeed.net, and this you can actually create RSS feeds from Twitter very very easily. Uh, and you can create tweets like an RSS. This is called QueryFeed.net. Here I'm going to drop this, Adam. If you can post this on the Page. Um, but what's cool is if you create, like for example, I'll, let's just say, let's say at Semantic Mastery, for example. This will do more than just Twitter too, but I've only played with it for Twitter. But this will grab all the tweets from the Twitter. In fact, I'm going to have to do this in um, Firefox because I've got some stupid plugin in Chrome that will make the feed look weird. So let's take a look at this real quick. Now this, what this should do is create an actual output feed from all the tweets from Semantic Mastery. You see that? And this put, cr creates a nice feed URL here. So I haven't tested this with IFTTT yet, but this just created. And um, if you take a look over here, guys, at the pricing, for example, if if you're if you're using the free version, it will only allow 10 items per on the output page, right? So the most recent 10 items. If you go to with a paid account, which is only five dollars a month. It'll give you up to a hundred, um, uh, up to a hundred actual tweets in uh, items per RSS. Does that make sense? So, anyways, this is pretty cool. I just started playing with this earlier this week, um, so I just found it and I thought it was kind of cool. I've got some tests set up with this now, seeing what I can do with these feeds here. But uh, check it out. Yeah. Hey, Bradley. Yep. I would just go into Feedburner. I mean, if if we're just doing, if we're talking about one RSS feed or just a couple, just go burn them in FeedBurner and they should work perfectly. Yeah. Plus, you're getting the power from inside of FeedBurner right. for your feed. Yeah. That's what I said. If you you know a lot a lot of the times if you run into issues with like your main website, your your money site's RSS feed not being accepted by IFTTT, the workaround is oftentimes just burn the FeedBurner feed and then go submit it and it'll work fine. Um, sometimes there'll be plug-in conflicts or you know something that's causing IFTTT not to recognize your feeds, and if that is if that's the the if that's the case, just burning a feed burner feed oftentimes will fix that. Okay, and like Marco said, you get that whole um, you get the piggyback off the authority of Google and feed burner too. So yeah, this is awful. <laughs> Leave it to Wayne. Good old Wayne. I think I already <laughs> plus one it. It's yeah, pretty cool. I like